So this is going to be an extremely basic video about screen switching. Um, so if you're a beginner, you just start off and let's say you're on synth one and you want to go to patterns. So you press patterns and there is patterns and you let go and it goes back to synth one. You're like, why is that happening? So you try something else that does the same thing. And then somehow it switches to what you wanted. Well, all you got to do is remember this. If you tap a button, that's going to lock it. That's your primary screen you want to be working on. So I'm on drum one. So I'm just going to do a quick little drum beat. Let's say I wanted to jump to patterns, switch a pattern, and then start working on second pattern. So I'm hold, hold down patterns, press the pattern, the pattern I want to switch to, let go pattern, and now I can do well, maybe a drum roll, something like that. And then let's go back, hold down patterns, go to there, and now I want to edit the drums or something. I let go of patterns. There you go. Same thing, I can go into synth one. I'm just going to press some notes in here. Uh, let's say we want this. I want to extend the gate, but I still want to play notes after this. So I hold down gate, hold down the note. Let's set that to three. Let go of that, and there it is, the gate. Right here. So you can also do with the same with velocity. Hold it down, press the note, and make, make the adjustment. In this case, the preset does not respond to velocity, so it's not you don't hear a change. Um, so let's turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna turn down the drums. So, so let's say we want to, you know, work on second pattern, and then I'm gonna just what I'm gonna do is press record. Okay, so let's say I press the wrong note, which is why I played it like that. Um, we press the wrong note, and let's say it's on a loop. So these things are looping, and I messed up, oh, you know, how do I fix it? So go to pattern, okay, it was on that pattern, I let go of it, and then make your correction. So clear, I'm going to clear that note, there you go. So that's another use for it, um, if you want to just switch patterns and then work on it. That's a pretty quick, easy way to do it, if you're working in steps. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's other uses, let's say I want to be in pattern, and then something's too loud or quiet, hold down mixer, change the volume, let go, and then it's going to jump right back into pattern, and then I want to go with drum roll or something, for example. So yeah. Pretty cool setup. Um, pretty much, if you, just think of it this way: if you want to work on something and then make a quick adjustment, like effects, boom, just turn up the delay, let go of it, and then jump back into making. So you can just jump back and forth to different things make changes you need, and then just go from there.